Today we're going to be talking about who my top five favorite coding channels are. These are the channels I watch the most for a variety of reasons, although I am sub to like 30 or 40 coding channels, which I think is probably all the coding channels on YouTube at this point. Uh, I, I watch these five the most, and they're all slightly different, so I thought it would be a good chance to maybe expose you guys to some some channels that maybe you haven't heard of maybe you have uh, a lot of them are much larger than my own but i just wanted to show some love in whatever way i could because i do watch their content and i love it and i i hope you guys uh watch it as well These are in no particular order. They just it's just who I pulled up that I, I like. And the first one up is Chris Hawks. If you don't know who Chris Hawks is, Chris Hawks is a uh, another self-taught developer who has been working for quite some years. And you can see I watch like all of his videos. <laughs> I I love Chris, man. Chris just keeps it real, man. So if you like someone who's gonna tell you how it is, um, sometimes they use little clickbaity titles. It doesn't matter to me. I click them every single time. <laughs> um, I just, uh, I like, he, he's, he's a guy that really will say it like it is, and I, I, I appreciate that about him. And um, I'm, uh, I'm glad that he's uh, making content. Uh, he kind of does topic-oriented videos similar to what I've been doing lately. Uh, you can kind of see a few here. Uh, but uh, I, 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 I would say Chris's videos are probably the, the uh, videos that I watch every single time one comes out. I'm very excited about Chris. Uh, let's go in a different direction now and we'll, we'll talk about uh, our boy Simple Programmer. So John, I watch a lot of John's videos. Not every single one because John throws out three videos a day. Uh, John is uh, kind of a, a self-help coding channel if you're not familiar with Simple Programmer. And um, you can see right here in the last two hours, seven hours, nine hours, John's, John's a workaholic and he's putting in work. Um, so you can see how <laughs> drop out of college. Uh, you're always gonna have problems. Don't avoid it. So uh, he uh, he tends to have a go in the um, direction of software, but it, it does uh, just from the sheer volume of videos have to do uh, a lot with self help and how and, and and personal development. And I encourage you to check it out. Um, he, uh, he has a lot of life experience and uh, very successful, so a lot of people are very interested in what it takes to be an entrepreneur and things like that. So John uh, at Simple Programmer is uh, another channel I watch quite frequently. Uh, now a channel that I, um, uh, you guys probably know him more from Udemy than anywhere else is our boy Max a motherfucking million. Uh, Max, <laughs> Max a million, or Max, is uh, or from Academine. Basically he, um, he and his partner here, I guess, um, I'm not familiar with this partner, but uh, they, they do uh, tutorials on Udemy and they're, they're quite popular. And you can see that recently I watched a, a two hour uh, video going through Angular 4 uh, since I started my new role. But uh, th they're more of the tutorial types and occasionally they will do a video talking about their thoughts or he will do a video talking about his thoughts. But for the most, most part, they're uh, you know, detailed, in depth tutorials, very high, uh, very high quality usually they're excerpts from their course from his courses that he puts on Udemy he's probably uh, one of the largest uh, coding courses if not uh, in the uh, probably in the top five um, content creators on Udemy selling software tutorials I, I would imagine uh, does very well uh, last time I checked he had something like 175,000 different students so uh, great great tutorials and if, if you uh, if you're like those long detailed I want to learn a new language or framework. Uh, I couldn't recommend it more. Uh, last but or next, not we got one more after this. Don't go nowhere. All right, um, for the free code camp channel, two hundred ten thousand. I didn't know they had this many subscribers. To be honest with you, uh, I just saw a video the other day about how they uh, got their silver play button. Uh, one of the cool things about the free code camp channel is because it is open source, much like free code camp. Uh, that they have a bunch of different content creators, so you get exposed to a lot of different things. Now, why I really like that is you can see that they have different sort of, uh, not only different sort of teachers, but they also have uh, different tutorials going over various things. So uh, this one is by Bo, who, um, who uh, has completed all of Free Code Camp. Very impressed. Life Coding with Jesse was a good one. I started uh, a couple of these, but uh, I think this is probably like, they're probably going on like 40 videos on this, but uh, 
Jesse's been live coding uh, through different aspects. He started with React. I'm not quite sure what he's up to now. Uh, you can see we have this ask. I'm going to mispronounce this, but Prothi or Prithi. I apologize. I'm, uh, um, a day at. So they, they now have a, a series where you go and see what, hey, what's a day at Amazon like with Jeff? So you can see there's a lot of different content going over Git, GitHub, whiteboard tutorials, all this sort of stuff. Uh, and they probably have, God, probably 500 videos or something like that. And they're doing a great job. It exposes you to a lot. And if you really like one of their series they go very long because there's different different people teaching different things and so not every it's not one creator which makes it so okay i'm gonna hone in onto this one topic of react and just bam 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 40 videos later uh, so i really like that about it and last but not least we got our boy uh traversing media brad who's been killing it taking over the uh the youtube game 180,000 subscribers uh if you're not familiar with Traversy Media, I, I suggest out of all this, in terms of what can better your career and get you exposed to the most uh, technologies uh, in web development, Brad's doing an excellent job in that. You see right here, uh, he's recently started releasing courses on Udemy. I believe this is his third one. Uh, I, I specifically like this uh, this one because uh, a lot of times people are asking, how can I go from start to finish? And this is a video doing exactly that from let's open up a, let's open up an editor to deploying to Node. And I, I'm currently going through his uh, Bootstrap 4 and his Angular 4 course. But he does in-depth tutorials. Um, he also has crash courses, which I couldn't recommend more. I recently watched um, the Angular 4 crash course, followed up with the jQuery crash course. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm moving on to the, I think he had a tutorial on Bootstrap 4 I'm going to hit before I did the boot, finish up the Bootstrap 4 course. Um, but if you just want sort of a refresher, these crash courses are amazing. Um, uh, for the most part, uh, Brad has been putting out content every single week, uh, maybe twice a week, I would say. Sundays, he puts out like a little, hey, let's build a little project, which are super fun. Like at this last time, um, build a, a landing page with something called S Skeleton CSS. I love his thumbnails, too. He's killing it on the thumbnail game. I might have to take lessons. Uh, teach me, senpai. Uh, <laughs> but uh, um, so those are my five most watched and favorite coding channels right now. Um, a couple other ones that I watch off, off the top of my head is uh, Ricky Garcia and uh, Program with Eric. And um, there's there's so many. I, I watch so many different coding channels, but those are the five that I watch the most and that I, I uh, appreciate. And there's a different sort of vari variation. You can see Chris Hawks talks about talks about some of the things that he's interested in in software and web development. And then you have Academind and um, Traversy Media who more so focus on the in-depth uh, tutorials. And John who's uh, a little bit software, a little bit personal development. And then Free Code Camp which is kind of all over the place and uh, different, a different sort of slice of life at the end of the day. And uh, I appreciate that as well. So let me know in the comments below who are some of your favorite channels because these are just my f top five. There are so many great uh, channels. The Net Ninja is also really good. Um, so <laughs> there's so many good ones. Huh? Um, the Net Ninja, RIP the New Boston. The New Boston's like the OG, right? The New Boston just took up and bounced. Um, give me your channel, the New Boston. Uh, uh, but uh, if you're not familiar with the New Boston, um, this is like the OG channel, 1.7 million. Whew. All these guys are killing the game. Yeah, the last time we uploaded uh, was one year ago. That's sad to see, man. It's sad to see. It worries me when I see somebody with 1.7 million say, I'm just not even going to mess with YouTube no more and go on with whatever I'm doing in my life. <sighs> but uh, I hope... I hope uh, I forget his name off the top of my head, but I, Bucky. I hope Bucky, if you're out there, I wish you the best, man. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share, and support me on Patreon. And again, share those channels. Show some love to your favorite content creators. These are a few of mine. I'm going to do a video about the, my five favorite non-coding channels just so you guys can I can share some of my interests and show some love to a couple other channels that I'm I'm very much so interested in. And uh, maybe you are interested in some of the topics I'm interested in, such as finance, uh, investment, um, 
that's all that comes to mind right now. Maybe some gaming, uh, but uh, I don't have too many interests outside of coding. But I'll share that with you in a, another video uh, sometime soon. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Bye. Quick shout out to deviceplus.com. If you're interested in the latest IOTs, hacks, do-it-yourself projects revolving around Arduino and Raspberry Pi, they have some great how-to guides. I, I highly encourage you to check them out, and thanks for watching.